Howdy y'all, name's Tennessee Ted, and today we're going over what it takes to be a cowboy. As you guys know, if you've seen the one video I did, I'm an adventurer, and to be an adventurer you gotta have three things. Number one, cool cowboy hat. Number two, super awesome revolver. And number three, gotta have yourself a good old sour rifle. So today we are introducing yeah. Dish Bad Boy. Just kidding guys, it's Lucky for Bob and we're doing a airsoft gun review. So this gun is pretty stinking cool. It is the Elite Force Legends Saddle Rifle. So there's only a thousand of these made, so they are very rare. Very powerful and a little bit inconvenient to use on the battlefield. I'm going to go over that. Number one, I mean, it's just a really cool gun. I got it just because I like flashy stuff, if you guys haven't guessed. Um, and I, honestly, you can use it in the battlefield, but uh, it's not super practical. I'm going to go over that. But first, let's go over some few functions. Number one, it's CO2 powered. It's in the butt of the stock. Just kind of twist it, push it in and twist, and it comes out. Yeah, how you need to do it, you just push it in and you swivel it around. There you go. You take it off. So basically your CO2 is gonna go in here. We're gonna do this later when we shoot it. But basically it just goes in here. You want to screw that, stick it in. Really simple. Not very difficult at all. And now we're gonna go over the fact why it's rather impractical to use in the battlefield, unless you're doing um realistic sim games, which some people I know play where they have small magazines so right now using this against machine guns is kind of difficult but i mean it's not horrible it's a sniper rifle so it's long range eh, if i get this close a bit. there we go so this is why it's impractical i mean i love this thing about it it's super awesome but it's impractical so number one you have your gut then you have these I want to see if they fit on my belt really fast. Oh, they do! I can pull it out. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Definitely got to be wearing this belt next time I play yourself. But anyway, so you got this. You push it in here. You pop it in there. And you put 10 of these in there. Each one of these has one BB in it. <laughs> so, I mean super cool, very impractical, because you got to be sitting there in the battlefield hand loading this while people are shooting at you with machine guns or whatever. Yeah. Alright, I'm just going to put a couple in here. It holds 10, but I only put like 4 or 5, so. And then the way you shoot it is pull the lever so lose the chamber fire you pull the lever bullet pops out as so you gotta make sure you don't lose your bullets or i guess your shells all right so i guess enough said let's get to shooting it out. Now what we do, we got this, and we're just gonna, so we have to use this, it's that. And screw it. CO2 canister, down the hole. Alright guys, so I mean I don't really have targets up today. I'm probably going to do some more in a later video. I just want to test this out really quick. So um, this yard's about 200 feet, 150 feet. So I'm going to see how it shoots. Alright, hat, got safety. Alright, chamber loaded.
Apparently I don't have to gas it. Right. Watch me I put it in upside down. Okay. Hold up. Alright guys, I am back. So I've never seen a gun like this before, but it actually takes two CO2 canisters. Um I'll show you how to do it after I shoot a couple times if it works. So let's Here goes nothing. Very nice. One thing I love about this gun is when you shoot it, gas comes out um, like the real gun. So it comes out the end and it comes out here. See? <laughs> See, I would say that's probably got 200, 250 range. Um, it's pretty accurate. Probably gonna use um, 0.28s in this though, just because it's got so much FPS. Can't wait to use it. Yeah. They're very hard to find, but I mean, if you keep track of them, I mean, or even if you use it and instantly put it in your pocket, you might want to do that. But so definitely cons that, cons um, just, take, it's a little hard to load, it's not super difficult, but it is, takes a little bit to go from, 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 not quite as good as like in Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption, where you just go, from, from, from. but um, that's a good gun, it's, I guess pros is definitely range, it's like a 250 foot range accurately, power definitely, this thing kicks butt, <laughs> um, definitely looks looks are fantastic I love the old ch -ch -ch. it's fantastic so if you're definitely going for a cowboy vibe this is what you should get all right guys thank you so much for watching if you like if you guys like haven't yet subscribe this gun's pretty cool and to finish it off we're gonna have a little science experiment well what happens when you release the co2 because you know I didn't use a whole lot of it Ugh. Alright, big explosion. Fifty Lucy Great Tank. <laughs> it made the air so cold. Look at that. Woo! Gosh, you're getting hard to breathe. I think CO2 is making so that all the oxygen is going away. That was insane. Whew. Yeah, it's a little hard to breathe right now too. I think it's all the oxygen kind of got chased away when it popped out. Oh, that's freezing. Oh, that's really cool. Whew. All right. So basically, guys. Oh, it's really cool. Oh, it's really cool. Uh, when you put it in, you got to put it in like this, so both ends facing out. And it, yeah, I guess it uses both of them. Oh! Ouch! Alright, guys. Till next time. Luck. Out. Tennessee Ted. Got a lot of videos, so stay tuned.